You know, I've been coming to Mosquito Lagoon for probably 15 years, and um, majority of those times it's really tournament fishing. But I've spent a lot of time just bringing my skiff over and, and sight fishing, redfish and trout. Some of my favorite things to do is catch them in artificial. And, um, you know, the, to, this time was just a different opportunity. Uh, it's summertime, it's hot. That was an opportunity to bring that Pathfinder over here and uh, see if we can catch them under the docks. Aaron Dill has been a good friend of mine for probably, gosh, dancing on 15 years now. Uh, the guy loves the fish. I mean, it's one of his things that um, you put him on the bow of the boat, you put him on the polling platform, you can tell right away he's got it. Jay and I met um, fishing redfish tournaments through mutual friends, and now really we don't do the tournaments as much because they're just not as, um, there's not as many. They're not as popular as they used to be. Uh, so we always cut each other, give each other a hard time. Um, definitely we're both very competitive when it comes to the fishing scene. You know, we go to a tournament, we're serious, we want to try to win. You know, it doesn't always work out that way, but that's what we're there for. It's not so much the, the money aspect of it, but it's the competition side of it that we're more after, I think. So what's the game plan? We just, we feed these baits into the... And we're going to let the current pull the baits right in to under the dock. This, this dock's kind of unique. There's like three boat houses on it, so... A lot yeah. of, but a lot so of structure. we still have outgoing tides, so it's going to sweep them right up underneath Correct. it. Correct. And we have we have our come get you some sticks. So yeah. <laughs> hopefully we're going to need them. Uh, hopefully we got uh, you know enough power to pull them out. Well, this is my drop shot right here. Get, get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little better one. Oh, get away from the dock. <laughs> All right, he's on the... He's still around the dock. I got him. Got him? Yeah. All right. He's got dock marks all over his head. <laughs> Does he now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a bad new Smyrna yeah. snook. Yeah. Yeah, man, he was way up under there too, yeah. wasn't he? <laughs> That's cool. So he straight called it out. So do you think he's fatter than, or they're fatter than your type, or just because of the conditions they're in, or comparable? I mean, it's pretty broad for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a healthy snook for sure. Pretty fish. They're yeah, my man. favorite. Well, Mr. Dill, well done. You gonna retie that, are you? Yeah, he pretty much uh, <laughs> ruined it for me. I was really looking forward to seeing what we can make happen uh, out of the Pathfinder. And of course, you know, dock fishing in Mosquito Lagoon is not something you really think about, you know, and, and of course Edgewater to New Smyrna Beach, you know, there's a lot of open, open water there with a lot of docks and um, there's an incredible amount of tide flow. When I was thinking about gearing up for my, before I left home and kind of tackle I needed to bring this time was totally different. You know, I'm normally light tackle, 3,000 series spinning reels, medium action rods for those redfish and those trout. And I really thought that when I'm gearing up this time, I'm bringing heavy artillery. Uh, this is like really kind of, you know, close combat and based on what I figured we were going to have the opportunity to catch uh, with some opportunities, some big snook, uh, some trout, redfish, and uh, I brought some heat with me. Oh, bite. Oh Get boy! Him. Get him! Got him? Yep. What do you got? Pulling the boat. <laughs> it is pulling the boat, isn't it? That's a good fish, whatever it is. It hadn't jumped yet, Dewfish which is. Or grouper? Gotta be. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Big, a nice Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> 
got a, you got a bugger grip? I do. It's in the drawer. That's a pretty one too. Come here, little fella. Heck yeah. Look at that. Hey, just for the record, we never catch them that size. <laughs> we, we catch the ones that would eat that one. But that's awesome. Isn't that cool? Dude, that bite was ridiculous. And look, as soon as he didn't jump, so I'm like, oh, yeah. we got something serious. <laughs> Either a big red or, a, or a, yeah. a Goliath. He tried to get me back in there. I just had to give him a little extra thumb. They, uh, they're starting to make a comeback just like they are on your side. Yeah. So. A lot of people don't pay attention. Those juveniles have the most color of all of them. You know, back on the West Coast, you know, when we go to Goliath grouper fishing, we're catching 300, 400, 500 pounders. In many cases, they've already lost all of that juvenile great color, uh, you know, between the browns and the tans. And uh, this thing was incredible. Built to eat and with incredible power with that tail. And if I could catch at one dock Goliath grouper like that all the time, that'd be magical. It, it's an absolute blast to pull on those. That's a good one. Get him! I got him away now. That's a good fish, sir. Pulling the boat, you know that's a good one. You gonna jump? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we'll take that one. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Done no, he's not. That's good. I'll get it. Just be ready for me to let him go. Though. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. Open up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good fish, right? Now that is the new Smyrna Snook, huh? That's what you were talking about last night. You are like, we have a chance to catch one like that. That's a solid one. You gotta think his back is, or her back is. I will say that I think the, that fish, by, by its length, is maybe a little fatter than what I'm catching on my side. All right. But at Doc Snook, he's not leaving from that dock. So no. That's a healthy one too, Yes, buddy. it is for here. It's a good solid fish. Well, and it's proven to me that we can catch some snook over here now. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? <laughs> um, we're kind of on the the north end of the snook, the freeze line. We're a little bit south of the freeze line. What they say is north of there will have more freezes than what we will have the farther south, obviously. Our snook population from 2010, it was really good and then it got hurt in a major freeze and now it's been you know nine years and it's picked up and, it, and it's made a huge rebound. They're, they're difficult to catch here. Um, you have to fish the structure, deep water. It takes a lot more to pursue them than on the west coast in my opinion. Dock fishing isn't as simple as just rolling up there, throwing the baits under the docks. There are some angles and, and you gotta really pay attention to the current that's going underneath those docks. Many times we'll get up in there and power pull down just enough to be able to right on the edge of the current. And you throw the bait up into the edge and let it free drift under those docks. That's typically what's gonna take to get bit. And you gotta be just off the dock enough that the fish don't know you're there. Um, I tell you, you know, Aaron is, is, has been doing this a long, long time in this area and it, I can't tell you how important it is to really get dialed in on where those fish are going to be staged off in 
and also pay attention to how your bait is presented underneath that dock. If you pay attention to those things, that right there will get you a bite. Oh, oh. Red dog. Yep. It's a red. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, it's a good one too, buddy. May I help you? Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. These are the kind we need in a tournament, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Just tracking down the species list. Still, I mean, as dark as that water is, look how clean he is. He's got a, uh, oh look, they're right down his lateral line. Oh yeah, right one, there. One, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the other side? I think that completes your over uh, inshore slam, buddy. Yeah, I, the new Samora has been do good to us today. Not, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Cool fish, he's got 14 spots. Yep, and he's gonna swim away. And we need to catch him in a tournament. Yeah, <laughs> we do for sure. <laughs> awesome. Hey, nice work, man. Yes, sir. That was awesome. You know, this opportunity to come over to Mosquito Lagoon and, and fish actually New Smyrna uh, out of the Pathfinder was um, a change of pace, you know, and I was actually looking forward to it. I like kind of changing up a little bit. And Aaron was confident. Last night he was talking some pretty strong numbers. I gotta say, the guy backed it up. Uh, we both had high fives and uh, good times, and of course I was ribbing him and he was ribbing me, and that's kind of what happens on the boat. But anytime I get the opportunity to spin the bow of the boat with that guy, I'll do it anytime. <laughs>